During a criminal trial, a court prohibited a defense attorney from asking the prosecution's witness a basic question on cross-examination. And the defendant asked the Supreme Court for answers in Alford v. United States. J.W. Alford was charged with federal mail fraud. At trial, prosecutors called Cameron Bradley, one of Alford's former employees, to testify. Bradley's testimony damaged Alford's character and wasn't corroborated by other evidence. When Alford's attorney, Leo Friedman, cross-examined Bradley, he asked where Bradley lived. The prosecutor, Mr. Armstrong, objected and argued that Friedman's question wasn't material or proper. Friedman responded that the jury should learn where Bradley lives and works. The judge sustained the objection. Questioning continued, and Friedman asked Bradley whether he lived in Los Angeles. Armstrong objected again, and the judge again sustained the objection. The judge then heard the matter away from the jury. Friedman restated his position and added that he learned that Bradley may be testifying while in federal custody. If so, Friedman argued, it showed Bradley's potential bias. The judge reasoned that Friedman couldn't ask about Bradley's custody because the custody wasn't related to a felony conviction. The jury convicted Alford. On appeal, Alford argued that the judge erred in prohibiting Friedman from cross-examining Bradley about where he lived. The Ninth Circuit affirmed, calling Friedman's attempts to discredit Bradley a fishing expedition. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.